Welcome back, welcome back, welcome back, everybody, to some more Medieval 2 Total War, the Lord of the Rings Defiant Conquer Mod 4.5, with yours truly, yours truly, free water, with the exclamation point for the added emphasis. I got a text instantly, <laughs> instantly from my brother as soon as I started recording this, about, and it looks like he was talking about something with Dale. We'll read that after this episode, so to my brother in the future when you see this. Just know that I'm reading your text message in an hour. <laughs> yes, my lord. Uh, so we were coming back, and we had one last thing we were going to do. I also realized that I want a stable. And we're going to get a stable, I think, here at Burra Kalpas. Because I, I was looking at it before. I figured up here is pretty nice because it's a pretty... So, you know, this is our solid area of growth and everything like that. But that's the thing. I want it to keep growing. I want to be able to hold the front out here. And this seemed like a pretty good front area because all throughout My here, Lord speaks we have to travel. There's no way to travel across except with a boat if we have one. Which we can get a boat again eventually. Uh, or here. So I figured being able to run some horses back around this way and they're quick travelers. This is a good centralized spot, I feel like to be able to uh, keep going along. And I think this is also a good spot eventually maybe to switch to a capital if we start expanding more eastward out this way, uh, just so we don't have that distance to capital kind of just hindering us with unrest and everything like that for, you know, just for further off cities. Maybe we'll see. We'll see what happens. If there's a really nice uh, city down that way, we could switch, who knows? But we were gonna use the spy. We're gonna check out a little bit of this area. I think we're going to come to the north just so we can see what quietly. yeah these lines My look Lord. like up here. How, where do the dwarves you know match up quietly. with the uh, tomorrow's journey? Where do they match up with Run and and all that whole scheme of thing? I think they were at war with each other too, right? This is Erebor, dwarves of Erebor. Yeah, the Easterlings of Run, and they're going to want us to fight them soon. They're also at war with the Orcs of Gundabad, which uh, they do reside up here, and they are pretty that as. Since I got to play them a little bit, I've realized they're pretty nasty faction, so we do need to keep an eye that some some Orcs of Gundabad may come in here, especially if these two guys, again, go to war with each other. Um, and I think this that was going to be the end of our turn here. So we were just going to work with that spy, do something with him. Our diplomat, unfortunately, did not go get relations finished with Heisengard, you know. Heisengard's a little, you know, a little too late. To the, oh, okay, so there is a there is a crossing point right there as well. But I still feel like that's a pretty centralized area for some stables, and we have it a nice cultural area. Plus, it would help us just to have something to be able to recruit closer to front lines while we're still maximizing our back end area for like the uh, for the higher class troops. And I love, 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 love that we are making so many Athala Rangers. I'm just glad that we're getting those guys churned out because. Whenever, if we need them in a pinch, we can just pull them all out to send into a thick army while we're just kind of piddling around right now, growing. Uh, it's, I think it's good that we just have some really high class units. We're Dunland. We were kind of having to feed, feed the flames, you know, each time. So we wanted to keep fighting and fighting and fighting. But here, we don't have as many, like, areas that we can just go in and fight. There's a lot of rebellion, and we don't want to start something too early with Dol Guldor. Especially with the Anduin Vale, we may have... Yeah, we do have military access through the Anduin Vale, so we can attack through here and through up here if we need. So we can send a pretty solid army down this way. That's actually will, my lord. not too bad of an idea. We are going to bring this guy out here. Yes, we can go no further today. The Northman Militia, I guess. Do we have a meeting call here? Yeah, we should have a free upkeep unit for there, but I guess it's just him. So I'll just mix them up together as they head down here to hopefully clear up more of the devastation. I still don't necessarily understand the full concept of how devastation goes down after you clear a rebellion. A port would be really nice. A port would be very nice indeed. Let's see how that would affect us. Economically wise, corruption barely goes up at all now. Devastation wouldn't be going up. Our trade would only be going up a little bit, but we could buy boats there. Eh. I guess that's not a merchant's wharf instead. That's just more uh, 
We could go farming complex since we are trying to boost this place a little bit. We could start by boosting that, but I think we just go with the... We could just go longbowmen as well. There's so many options. <sighs> let's go with let's go with the stables. See what kind of cavalry we can get. Uh, we are building currently out here. I feel like Burr Marlinge, since we have that front of Condovan now, and we're gonna get ready to beef that up a little bit more. Uh, just this area, I think. I think we're clear, and we can go with we have enough. Yeah, we have enough to get some daily and longbowmen here if we want. Which would be pretty nice. Uh, either that or we go the farming outpost. Let's go with the practice range. Let's just get a couple t military buildings set up out here just so we're prepared. Lord is my lord. Yes. Or, you know, the inevitable war this to come. Tower will keep vigil over the lands. Don't know if we want to come near run to kind of... We I yes, don't know if we want to bait them, but I think we need a watchtower out here. My Maybe we can just keep our spy in their territory instead. Approaching quietly. Approaching quietly. Let's do something like that. We'll keep traveling out Tomorrow's around here. I kind of want to see what these eastern reaches out. are like. Yes, my lord. Let's go Is ahead and talk to these guys. You? you know what? Take it. Your plan You'll take it. I just want to set... I get 750 Gs for getting deals with you. Let's head up here to Dunland. Let's check out like Dunland Without Rock question. or something like that. Oh, the clans of Anaduith. We need to come here first. Yes. Yeah. Let's go to their city Without here. Question. Your orders, my lord. Good chilling here. Got these guys here. I'm wondering when's a good time to really uh set some guys off. Maybe we do recruit some of this chaff here. I mean, that could be good just to start filling up some of the ranks while we're waiting on some keeping our high tier infantry up here. One more turn on that Athala Ranger. Could just go some Royal Guardsmen and get another general. Which would be, I think, would be pretty nice actually if this counts as their general's bodyguard. Because we do need a new general to lead our guys down here. A lot of these guys were. He was a decent general. Howard's really good. We need a governor at least for this, maybe. Bjorn, Vidicia. Yeah, these guys are more just to be chilling at the back, you know? Just chilling at the back. We're gonna treat, try to My find Lord. a. Uh, I don't know if we're gonna get into a fight this go around. I got. I had to take an allergy medicine today. It was a. Uh, I think it was my cats today instead of the pollen. I just say it. Everything gives me allergies, but uh, <laughs> we we survived by taking allergy medicine or sniffly nose. We shall the wrath shall be on us. Erebor, they are they are a war with runes. So I don't know what they're. Yeah, they're spread on two huge like wide fronts. I see. I can see why they keep air more slightly stocked, just in the inevitable, like someone's gonna jump us. But it's not. It's not too badly stocked. They probably have like armory there as well for those kind of places. Probably similar to like what Rohan had at Helm's Deep. Those are actually. It seemed like those warriors were not super good. They were just there to fill the ranks a lot. Rather. Terse message from Ered Luin that states simply the Blue Mountains stand alone. There had been rumor that Dark MC had visited the mountains, and what agreement or bargain is struck, we cannot know. They temporarily shut down all diplomatic negotiations. Surely for them to agree to such a thing, the gift must have been very generous indeed. But they're not going to be joining us in the war. Billion attacked. Oof. That stinks. Skelly Thunder Tech not looking, not looking good for the realms quietly. of men. Airbor also Lord, owns this area. Approaching quietly. As much one of their captains. Let's see what this unit's like. Skilled against mounts, so they look like people that are better calves than us. So it, I think it's okay that we have some calves just to have that little bit of call and response, you know. But after that. Okay, let's send 
Well Send done. one of these bows down. We'll put one of the Athelians in here. Yes. Or put March the Athala Ranger. As you wish. We are getting this Royal Guardsman to sit down as well. These guys can My keep Lord. coming. The de clear yes. the devastation out, maybe. Go no further today. I mean, will, it's not too Lord. bad. Let's actually go ahead and send them down no this way. Today. We'll be getting those. I think this is a good chance for us to recruit so I rivermen and some archers. Well, let's just do rivermen and axemen. So we can at least have someone that's... Uh, we, can, we can just at least have a unit that's in the way of our stronger archers that are going to be up here. Yes, my Just Lord. these couple Dalian longbowmen, Prince Brand. Then we'll have a couple more Northman archers here that we'll bring out Orders. with another Dalian longbowman. Lord, that should will, lead to a decent sized army. Is that what you want? Dolgoldor is, is out want? this way, though. Pretty, pretty sizable general. I'm guessing they're coming through here, but they are attacking the Woodland Realm. Yes. So they could be coming for us, but we will absolutely slaughter them, even if it's just with these. I'm sure these want? three units Is that what you want? could defeat whatever's in here. Let's look at... They're almost finishing here. Almost finishing with this practice range out here. We started going on the stables over here. Maybe we could go for the smoking house here, or we just start building, again, some more uh, chaff units. These will be a little bit cheaper, at least. A little bit cheaper in there here. We can go for... Uh, let's actually get a decent unit here. We, I think it's okay to go for these Woodland Scouts here. That way we can just keep one of each Please infantry. I think that's pretty cute. The Airborne Infantry and the Woodland Scouts. Make, maybe make them work together and they don't fight each other anymore. To exhaustion, continuing later. Who knows? Who knows? Probably doesn't definitely Lord, doesn't work like Lord. that. With honor. Oh. This tower will keep vigil oh, I thought that lands. was uh, I thought that was Rune instead, actually. Yes. I'm kinda they glad it's not. Here. And My let's Lord. go up here. As you wish. What is it you talk wish to these to guys? Plans of Enidway. Let's wait on the Alliance. They have a reasonable amount of money. Let's see if we can get a thousand gold out of them. Nice. It see, clans of Anadway. Not Good too bad to guys. I mean, if they're in the way of Dunland when they're trying yes. to conquer the world, Stopping I understand, here. you know, that you got to take them out. But they're pretty nice to yes, the Dalians. We do have a little bit more money to work with now. Please so let's actually go with my a couple more. Can we do a couple Dale Longbowmen? No. But if we take this Woodland Scout out, we can get two Dale Longbowmen instead. This. Well, I don't know. The Woodland Scout's actually pretty nice. Let's keep that going. It would be nice to get that Swordsman instead. Right here. I mean, we could just keep that going. It would be a lot of turns, though. So let's just go with some, yeah, some chaff. Let's just fill it up here. Let's keep going. Keep it going. Another turn. Another turn, down the Oh, there's some, there's some ladies here. There's a little girl and a big girl. One's trying to look into a cup to see if it has anything in it that she can drink. <laughs> they love, they love just sitting in random chairs. We have to bring random chairs in here. That's why you're probably seeing these random chairs and crap lying around. Because they love it. They just... They love just getting into stuff. It keeps them so entertained. So they're not squirreling around too much. Erebor, come on. Their diplomats were really thinking they're hard. And the doors of Ered Luin, what's going on with them? You know, are they going to turn against us? Is that what? Or is that just like, maybe they didn't join the enemy team, but maybe they're just not going to help out. So they're going to be one less alliance for us to work with. Okay, it looks like they're back in off. Oh! oh Dwarves of Erebor were trying to ambush? <clears throat> oh, that doesn't look good. That doesn't look good. We should probably capture, capture that other rebel village up here with those forces we're sending down so we can just have a very 
visible location next to run, so they can't just start jumping in on us anywhere. Got some dirt, uh, dirt paths constructed. Finished Druinian assaulted for the... I don't know, the forces are good or looking a little, a little rough, if you know what I'm saying. Because I ain't saying nothing. Clans of Anandwaith and Isengard? And they declared a truce? Oh my gosh. That's something right there. Ah, Dull Gold Door's probably somewhere right around there. These guys are still working on theirs. But I think we your send these guys orders. out this way. By your command, my lord. Have them meet up. Your will, my lord. By your Just have all you guys orders. going out to Burr Marlinge. Oh uh, yeah, because we have the dirt roads through here. It's actually a little bit better to go this today. way now. Orders. We'll keep the rivermen. No, I'd rather keep will, I'd rather have the rivermen coming wish. in. Both of y'all can come this way. We'll make Still more time here. on the practice range. I think we're okay on the archers. Because we're going to have such a weak front line, I think we're just going to need a decent amount of it. Um, we could go with the meeting hall, but we're not going to be able to... Well, we can recruit some Northmen militia, at least. I feel like we need to go for that Mason's Hall, at least, first. Your orders, my lord. Let's come down yes, here with Prince lord. Brand. With it's honor, at our precious watchtowers. He's slowly yes. working his way around. We got some forces coming. I think we're in a pretty solid area. We could we are getting a bunch of Northmen militia here. Let's keep getting those here. We can buy any more? No. We will go ahead and recruit two more daily and longbowmen though, I think. Because this is still gonna take one more turn. We'll have those at the ready um, once we get all this stuff finished. This is going to give us a big chunk of money again, so we should be making some of that money back that we're going to be losing from all this. Let's actually send... We'll keep... Yeah, we'll keep the good stuff here. We'll send keep sending this chaff down the way as well. to exhaustion, continuing later. Our spy... We can our spy check out. Impossible, my lord. Yeah, let's check out this little region out here. Quietly, approaching we just kind of want to keep better eyes on our border area. So maybe keeping them like around this area towards this city. Maybe like around this river passing. Because this is still Gazar Barak and they may pass through here a little bit. But my guess is not too much. Because there is a pretty hefty army inside there. Your orders. Keep heading up to As Dunland. I shall oh, continue tomorrow. Oh, brightness, yeah. Nice little area they got. There's a nice little area that the men of Dunland have. <laughs> Stopping here. Let's head Tomorrow's up, yeah, journey like here. planned out. Think. Stopping here. I think. I can't remember too well. You know, we were always looking at conquering elsewhere, so I just saw, like, plans of an Endwaith region, you know. Or like Bree, or <laughs> or potentially Mordor at for a certain point before we uh, finished. <laughs> I think Mordor just wants to be number one. That's like their whole goal. Woodland Realm. I see you guys. I see you guys trying to diplomat me a bunch. But thanks for giving me more money. Oh, nice. Yeah, get those orcs out of here. Thank you. See, they're looking out for us. Maybe we should push in and declare war on Dold Goldor then. I mean, we could... Yeah, if we get this general up, because we can send all that chaff down to help out with, uh, with our main guy. But the new general that we're getting, we could give him some really nice troops instead. Because our other, our main general will at least keep the chaff more organized, less likely to rout. So maybe that could work. And we have some decent troops with them still. We may leave one so we can bring the horses back. May leave one at that city. Edoras also sieged. <sighs> almost, we almost had it. My lord. Yes. Tomorrow's journey planned out. 
Varyag is a con. Dol Amroth makes sense. <laughs> I did it with the Dudlinger. They broke their alliance. They just made an alliance and a truce, and now they broke it. Goblins of Moria Dudlin makes sense. We can go the goblins next. And we get a military unit for that. That's nice. It's probably just going to be like a Northman militia or something. Our money is looking a little rough still, but at least we made a lot back. Ooh. What's it? A Wayne? Ooh, he looks nice. Let's go ahead and retrain them. They're making some more. So our army can compose of these two, these two, Athela, all these guys, all these guys. And then the him, 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 maybe? And keep those guys with them. Keep the Rovanian Gaudrats here out here. Your will, my lord. As you wish. We'll see what our uh your we'll, will, we'll see lord. what it allows us. <laughs> yes, my lord. By your command, orders. Yeah, well, let's go with your will, my lord. As you put wish, these guys in here orders. for now. Your will, my lord. And let's my start lord. sending this horse down here. Yes. We'll make camp Send here. this other riverman down here. We'll just keep a normal militia March in each one. We'll keep them in here for now. My lord. We can actually have him go chill here. We got your plenty will, of other units lord. coming in. We'll make orders. Um keep going in By here. Your command. We'll actually drop As off that wish. Northman militia there instead. My lord. Yes. Orders. Your will, my Keep lord. everyone going out there. But yeah, we're making about 1,200 right now. We're about to finish two daily and longbowmen. So I'll have to see what it... I mean... We can always bump up the tax rate. If we need to for a little bit. And retrain these guys, but I think we're going to save the money. Just a little bit. The lit, the little bits of money. Your orders, my I'm out here. With honor, Throw down another watchtower. Will keep vigil over the lands. And then, yeah, we'll still throw one here just in we case Dol Guldor does tomorrow. anything tricky out here. I would like to get this fort. That would have been a really nice fort for us to have, but we missed that opportunity. And I think the last thing is our spy, correct? My lord. Come out here towards this river quietly. area. Oh, that's yeah, this is a perfect spy area, at least My for lord. our sake. Approaching quietly. Yeah, I think I want it right here. Approaching. I serve another master. You must they don't have yeah, me. they don't have that much on our border either. So that's good to know at least. This may be this there may not be a battle this, unless we can get all of our troops in in enough turns to get over to that rebel settlement to take it out. And then I think I'm just going to hold the siege for the next couple turns instead of forcing it. Because that was a lot of troops, and I'd rather have them come out to me than me have to... Like, I hopefully we would get, like, one solid break on them instead. At worst, we can just do our pepper, pepper method. Use all of our bullets for one go-round, go in another time. Which I think works pretty... Pretty darn well. <laughs> and they're rebels, you know, they can't they don't recruit anything else, you know. <laughs> Which I guess that would be anyway better than sieging and holding a couple turns, because it would take the same amount of time, maybe less casualties even, if we held the siege after clearing it out some. They are trying to go out that way, it looks like though. <clears throat> Better not. You better not go get that rebel settlement. That's my rebel settlement. I don't think he's going to win either. Oh, man. So they have a new regent. <clears throat> Four <no> <laughs> Jeez. These places are crumbling right now. Absolutely crumbling. Hey. Okay. Yes, my lord. Hmm. <laughs> I don't know. Do we send it out? Mm. <clears throat> we could go with... I think we could go with the leather worker here. 
<coughs> Excuse me. Ah, the allergies. The allergies, man. We'll get that. That gets us a little bit still. My lord. By your Coming command, through here. Will, my lord. As you your orders, my lord. Let's just head into Condovan. Yes. I'll trust that. I'll trust that these guys can hold it for a little bit longer. My lord. Yes. March to yeah, maybe we just focus out here and focus on the defense if Dol Goldor comes in. Will, my lord. Take my these lord. two Northmen militia, As hit them wish. down. Orders. By your command. Yeah, we got a, I mean, we got a sizable force coming in. So As what's that? Wish. One, two, three. Yes, Four. We're going to keep that Northmen militia here. Orders. Five. My six, lord. seven. Eight, will, nine. Ten, Orders. eleven. Twelve. Twelve. Your will, my lord. Thirteen with this guy. Yes. We'll and we can. Here. Let's Your just send these guys lord. then. Let's send these my guys lord. out. Since they're not going to matter too much in this case. We could also pop some watchtowers up here if we wanted to, but... Eh, nah. Yes. That's going to take even longer. So we have a pretty sizable force. Your will, my let's lord. send, uh... Orders. Let's send these guys too. Because if Dol Guldor attacks us, chances are they're not going to have a crazy strong force, but we can come out with a 9, 10, 11. This place gets sieged. <laughs> and we can do the same with everywhere else in this tight little area. So we can have 11 units wherever they try to siege once. Uh, so they're going to have to have a pretty strong yes, force to deal with us there. I'm wondering if we can get some cheaper buildings to help give us some money it doesn't yeah uh, i think this time we go for the farming outpost now this will probably be, be our best bet corruption's going up that's going up 70 this is only going up 50 so 20 gold overall eh, but if we go here it's just 60 gold straight which is only 20 in the end <laughs> let's go with the smoking house then at least it's 40 I knew I was forgetting something. The Dune Yard. Where was that Huntmaster Freaka's original? His hunting, his uh, stomping grounds or whatever? Before we moved him to Alkfud to make way more money. <laughs> he was just, he was just a business guy. He ready for the business world and he made it. His biznatch. Thank you, Thranduil. See, Thranduil's keeping Dol Guldor away. But it's only Dol Guldor. Where the Dwarves of Erebor are keeping Rune and uh, Orcs of Gundabad at bay. Doesn't look like they're, they must be traveling up away to meet with some Dwarves or something. Because that... I don't think they're going to be able to cross the river from there. The bridge is the only place I think will they be able to cross. Who knows? Who knows what the computer does? Yes, my you have I know I don't. A proposition for us? Let's go for this. They got a reasonable amount of money, too. Oh, these guys are rich out here. Nice, hot so master freak. Uh, war declared. And we're running on Dol Guldor. That's good, I guess. Isengard likes us. Northman Militia. Look at that. <laughs> Unlinings like us. We got our stables. We're looking pretty good. Your Let's head up here to the uh, goblins. I think their little place wish. was somewhere out here. Stopping here. Somewhere I like out continue here. Tomorrow. Is that Stopping clans of Anadwait? Oh my gosh. And they're at war with... I think Dunlin's going down, if that's the Your case. Orders, my lord. With honor. Let's just chill out here for now. Build up yes. our little force. Orders. As you wish. Will, come on, guys. Come down the train. Choo-choo. Choo-choo. I just like doing your this will, because it's a little bit quicker. As you wish. It feels like it's a little bit quicker, orders. at least, <laughs> than by waiting on the uh, intern or anything. No, Let's combine these guys here. Armies, yes. We shall continue tomorrow. And they're all, they're all doing, they're all doing their thing. Let's... Now, we could get some stables out here. We could get some chicken farming or a trader. A trader might be nice. While we're going here. Now let's do that. Yes, my lord. 
Everyone's still building up. We got our other guy going. Yes. All these guys are coming in. Did we have any more units training at any of these places? No. Got some cavalry ready and some uh, longbows if we wanted as well. Please I think send an we... To oh yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the extra Northman militia here. That is right. Uh, what do we do with this guy? I mean, I guess we can keep him down here. Let's just keep him down here for a little bit extra. He's not really taking up that much upkeep. We'll keep cycling through. We're going to see some pretty good expansion here in a, in a few turns. They do. I, I do like the little bits that they give you. It really lets you know what... Like, you have to use your time wisely. And we, we may have not used it wise enough, I'd say. Like, to the capacity that we could be making it. But I think we're doing good with just the, you know, the continual the continual effect. The only thing is we're in a lull of money right now. But hopefully after a couple of these buildings, it brings us back up. And I think we reinvest in more buildings after that. Our army should be reasonably okay. We have an okay defense. The only thing is if we do declare we're on run and we're not. And we get, you know, beat by them, one of their armies. Then we have nothing protecting our back area, really. And so we just want to really keep stockpiling that area, if anything, later. Ooh. Ooh. Thranduil. Thranduil. See ya. I, I doubt that was Thranduil. He didn't have enough stars. That's a. Is that a Nazgul in there, though? That's kind of scary. Goblins of Moria. Is that yes, really? Wait, is that really their closest place? I'm pretty sure it was somewhere else, right? Yes. I oh no, there's Don Rock. Okay, I was completely, I was completely here. messing up my geography. Felt smaller up that way. We got something built in here. Not building anything here anymore. We can get the spy though. We can get, <laughs> we can get another dwarf. I like that we have the option for the spy, but I don't think we're going to go for that yet. This would be really nice for growth, which would help give it, generate us some more money. And it's pretty quick. Would help beat the plague off, orders, my lord. like with a baseball bat or something. With honor, we can go. Your will, my lord. By your command. Let's. Orders. Your will, my lord. My lord. Let's group these guys up. Get them all in one on. one chunk. We'll make camp here. And they're all almost there. So what we get? Yeah, we have My Lord. over half a stack with that. Orders. These guys can keep coming down as, as well. You wish. We can go no further today. And maybe we do empty out that fort. Maybe. It would just it would be just enough if if we really need to really push that twenty stack. If I'm not counting, uh, you know, very well at all or anything, <laughs> my lord. Then uh, I would say we do it. I would say we do it and pull them out because we'll be right at that upkeep line. Uh, we'll just have to see. I just want to see what our total force looks like first and how runs looking. And like on this border area, if we just jump in there and go to war with them, it looks okay. But we don't really like we're bringing chaff in. We have to remember. Yeah. Okay. Never mind. See that we're gonna. I think we are gonna pull the guys, the rest of the militia out, just so that at least that way we have a lot more archers to pepper with, and poke at. We'll probably use those weaker archers to pepper their archers and our main archers, like our daily longbowmen and our general units, to. uh Khan stands with Mordor. News spreads across the Khan's decision when face choosing between Mordor and the Astari. The Khan chose to stand with Mordor. The Khan has done for generations. The free peoples despair at the loss of a potential ally by sovereign, so the enemy celebrate the Khan's faithfulness to the Dark Tower. Rumors fly now that the Astari will lay waste to the Khan's capital in an attempt to overthrow his authority and free the people of Khan from the yoke of the enemy. 
Hornberg is sieged. Tyre Andrus under attack. We are looking rough. Hail of Dorwinian war declared on Dol Guldor as well. So Dol Guldor is in a fight with a lot of people. My lord. By your command. Your will, my lord. Yes. Yeah, we should be. Yes, my lord. Okay, maybe with all these guys we'll be okay, actually. By your so what's that? Your five will, more onto here? One, two, three, four, five. We got one, and then we got one, two, three, four. So we almost Lord, have a full stack. Lord. Almost yes. a full stack. Let's come let's come join them for the night yes, in this town. Your orders, my lord. And we'll take them later. My lord. Um my as lord as here, speaks highly of you. Please send an emissary to open negotiations, my Maybe friend. we do need please to please uh... send an emissary to open negotiations, my friend. I don't know. Maybe we need to beef up with a little bit of chaff here as well. Very possible. Let's just get these guys. We can afford it right now. And no we'll will, see what lord, happens here. Keep heading up to the goblins. Yes, my lord. As you will. You have something to discuss. Trade to rights, us? map information. They are bankrupt, so we're not going to ask them for money. We have no goodbye. We look forward to our Northman Militia. Okay, we got a free Northman Militia at our capital. That's nice. Yes, my lord. Let's head up. I'm guessing. Without question. Yeah, the Duna Day right shall here. Continue tomorrow. That's pretty nice. Uh, were these the dwarves or not? Not sure. We'll keep going. Another, another round out. These are pretty simple, as we can't do much right now. <laughs> I keep saying we're going to invest in the infrastructure, but it look it's looking a little scary on the war front right now. So I'd rather err on the side of caution than losing a very I'd rather lose I'd rather lose a settlement down there to Khan or the Easterlings of Rune versus uh Yeah, versus to Dol Guldor at one of our main settlements. Plus, everyone seems to go is seem to go on Dol Guldor right now. Where, where Rune maybe not, maybe they aren't as much. They do have that one army, but that's it's very possible that they're going to fight the dwarves, especially if they head north with that army. It looks like they're actually trying to go for that rebel settlement, so we could be. We could time this pretty well. If they capture it, that could be a good chance for us to jump on them, maybe kill a good general. But it would it be worth it for that village is the only question. Alright, they're stacking up an army. That's not good. I think it's a good thing we got that militia. And Thranduil's coming to match him, but... that's not, Or not Thranduil, but they don't have anything there. Is this a time where we need to... The Lord of Isengard is dead. The Blue Wizards perish. Crush the capital column while successful was met with strength that overwhelmed them both. Istari died in the battle. Without the leadership of the Blue Wizards, the surviving dwarves are withdrawn to the Red Mountains, leaving behind an exhausted force of Condish rebels that will no doubt soon be crushed. It is a great defeat for the free peoples, one that the Shadow triumphs in and shall be taken shall take advantage of. But the Khan of Khand is dead also. Khand has been lost. But both of them died. Both of the wizards died in that battle. That's insane. We got a horsey. <laughs> I didn't know we got My Pokemon Lord. in this game, but uh, okay. Approaching their dignitary. Keep heading up this Tomorrow's way. Tomorrow's journey planned out. My Let's Lord. actually go keep an eye up here. Approaching quietly. Because I mean, I do not seek trouble. Wait. So how does this guy have that many units, but that much? They don't, I mean, they don't look that strong either, at least. It looks like a lot of their tribesmen. Ordered. So that's good, yes. at least. Your will, my lord. By your keep command. going here. You yes, guys, keep it going. Orders. One, two, three, four. We can pull three. Well, your order, no, we'd only be able to pull two. I think we do go for a full stack, though. Yeah, one, two, three, four, five. You yeah, two more. Let's take these. My Lord. How much melee do we have versus just pure range? Got two rivermen. 
Maybe we go for two more, the two more rivermen instead of the archers. Because these archers, I mean, are meh. At least these uh, rivermen have a decent missile attack damage. But these are just like to pepper people. My lord. I think. Well, we only have three Dalian Longbowmen in him, actually. Orders. And then yes, in here, we. Well, we have the Athala Ranger as well. And he is also a Ranger. We get some Ravanians while we're out here. Instead. My lord. Your will, my um, lord. My lord. It, yeah, it's a it's a hard thing of what do we Your beef lord up? Is my lord. I feel like that's enough front line. Yeah, let's take these archers instead. Your let's take will, these two archers. As you wish. We can go that's gonna hurt. That's today. gonna look even more painful. This is almost done. This is almost done. Then we can maybe put this on very high tax rate instead. Recruiting these guys. Let's go ahead and just pop them all into here to build up Eskaroth. Rather keep that place protected and then we push them. If they attack Dale, we can push everything up to Dale in one big force. Let's keep it going. Keep it rolling. Do, 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 do. Copyright. That's okay, though. Again, I always apologize for my mass amount of fans in North Korea, Syria, Cuba, and Iran for not being able to watch this video, and I'm sorry to everyone there. But, uh, maybe one day we'll have a non-copyright music for the turn switch. I know, I know Lionheart had something where he got some things that would help out with the copyrights, like some different music put in that was non-copyrighted. So we could look into that, but Noble I am excited. I am thinking about. For you. Offers that uh, demands pay one fifty gold for three turns. What if we take that off? But we also give you our map information. Now they know where to attack. I accept. Trade rights granted for zero turns. Oh, okay. I was like, huh? Yeah, they're gonna attack it. And they're gonna win. Wow, they won it pretty well. Do we jump to the aid of our ally? Is that a thing we do? That's actually very scary. That's Thranduil's Halls under siege right now to a pretty strong force. Hornburg is sieged again. We got a thousand gold. We're losing a little bit of money per turn though. Thranduil's Halls besieged. Is that what you want? Got a pretty sizable force. And he's got walls and everything too, at least. If we take all these guys out, we're going to be losing money next turn, so we have to, like... Your will, my lord. It would have to be yes, people that lord. can attack. My lord. Elves, for the light. Your orders, my lord. So I think we'd have to pull everything yes, out of here and will, here and do that to crush that, I think. My lord. By your command. At this rate. Your will, my lord. As you wish. March we gotta to go with that. Maybe we can. Later. I wish we could look for better. Uh... Approaching quietly. Wish we could find I better would. peace with these guys. Approaching quietly. We'll be able to see if they exit this place. If we don't see them, we see them go out this way. We know they're coming to us. My lord. Your orders, mm. my lord. With honor. We do that. Yes, my lord. And that's with... That is with both of these buildings, too. Um, we can... Since Dale isn't going, and we have way better stuff now, we can go up to very high tax rate. That should help us stay positive now. 
a very high tax rate here for now, I suppose. We're going to empty out. But I don't think we use... I don't think we use a general in this. I think we just use our units and hope for the best that Thranduil will help us here. And we're going to take a save here under Dale BB. Just because, you know, you always feel a little insecure at a time like this. Before a big decision. We're going to be losing money like crazy. By your command, joining forces, marching to war. Let's do it. Chieftain Lagoran of the Neck. <sighs> Castellans of Dol Guldur. Merkwood Hunters don't look too bad. Okay, so the, a lot of their stuff is... These Merkwood Goblins super weak. Wow, they're so weak. These Farrowan Mercenaries are strong. Merkwood or Orcs are okay. Dol Guldur Host, okay. That's like our chaff, though level. Their chaff is even worse than our chaff. Hopefully Faeron. Got two general archers, it looks like. Faeron, what's yours like? Those are some strong archers. They got one, two, three archers. Fairly strong warriors. Yeah, let's go for it. The troops are assembled. We'll see. And maybe that will make Dol Guldur want to send you know, feel a little bit weaker, giving our allies the opportunity to attack them. Where we can focus on run. And we can always add defenses to Dale. Because I'm sure the Wood Elves will be able to there. Unless they go to war with us. Unless we have to choose sides. Then, we'll, oh my gosh. Oh, my brain hurt. Units, await my We're basically going to try not to crumble in on ourselves. Oh no! Wait on the bridge. We men of Dale oh, I know what though. The, the elves should be going behind them. Let's see. Let's see these guys. We haven't seen them yet in action. There's Billmen. Those look like horrible spears though. The Thala Rangers. Yes, and we already know what you guys look like. Um. Swordsmen. Get you guys back here. Northman Militia. Keep you guys out for now. Let's just focus with the archers first. Yes. Let's see what happens. Like, we need to see if we need to just rush across or not. Because if we can get past the bridge without having to worry about them attacking us, we'll be okay. Yeah, we need to go. And Thranduil. Oh, man. Thranduil's guys are going to just absolutely shred them, I bet, for now. Because going up a hill against elves, I'm sure, is very horrible for orcs. Very little squishy guys. The only thing is we'll be fighting an uphill battle, so we need to get their ASAP now. See where their arrows are going. Where are you guys firing at? I heard something over this way. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, they're shredding them. Look, that's like a kill per hit. Those elves know exactly what they're doing. Keep running up. Keep running up, guys. Y'all better start littering through. I do love... I love seeing all, like, a bunch of people rush across a bridge, but I know if you get caught there, you're totally... You're totally donezo. Nice. These guys are getting absolutely... I can't tell what's dead bodies or not in this. It's hilarious. Get those warriors in there. Don't let the scouts get caught. Peppering them though. Peppering these guys. Okay, let's bring these guys back. They're a little bit faster. Are shredding them. 
Go in here. You guys go in here. Start running back with these Athala Rangers. We'll run back from these uh, scouts as well. Hopefully we can clean up these guys a little bit. Are running all these guys up here. Or something at them. Run up this way here. The battle is very much in our favor. Victory will be ours. Start shooting at these guys. Zdale Longwoman absolutely shredding the orc maulers. Let's go jump into these guys with them. Ooh! Ooh, I love this angle that we got for our rivermen right here. These Mirkwood units. Let's send these guys up to help against these Mirkwood hunters. I'm not going to I'm not going to try to go against those Castellans of Dol Guldor. I'd rather fight them last if possible. Actually, we pro no, we probably need to help out with that so we can get that general going. We can get all of them killed. Come out here. Let's peel back from these guys with them. Y'all get in here. Keep pushing forward. The enemy are badly bloodied. They're spraying them here. Lost half their men. Get up here. Keep clashing in. I think we'll go up this way to those woodland scouts. Maybe out this way. Something like that to help out here. These guys can come in here. Actually, yeah, keep going in this way. You guys just chuck at these Mirk Mirkwood Uruks. Let's see what you got. Come on. Come on. Oh, in the backs too. That's got to be like all of them dead, right? Maybe not. Apparently not. Keep chopping these guys. Hope the swordsmen are doing good. Try to shut down these guys now. Where's those Castellans at? They're just... Yeah, those... We're actually crushing them, but they're littered in there still. Keep pushing these guys off. We'll fight those Mirkwood Uruks. It's just, uh... There are those guys chasing them. Let's head up here. Maybe we can pepper those guys instead. Who's shooting at us? Are they? They're sons of guns. Son of biscuits. See if we can send. Is it this swordsman? Yeah, okay, let's send them up here. Let's run these guys out instead. Just run them away. Blow the horn. And let's get these guys going after them over here. Keep chasing those Mirkwood hunters. Got these Mirkwood hunters going down. And slowly working through these guys. I would like if their elves stop firing into me. That would be nice. But uh hey, you can you can only do what you can do, right? Come out this way. The rivermen. See if there's a good throw area. I don't think that's gonna be the throw area unless we bring our swordsmen back. Which I think they're fine in the melee there, at least. These guys are gonna fight to the absolute death. Maybe, maybe just not the Mirkwood Hunters, and that's about it. But even them. Let's just keep getting a little bit closer. While they're, uh, they're skirmishing them, so we can just punish them even more. Let's come straight through. We don't have to worry about the Phalanx formation with them, I don't think. Let's see if these guys will hit them. This should be some good shredding right here. 
That's a lot of Mirkwood hunters dead. Yeah, they're routing now. These guys are just gonna go for it. Um, let's go ahead and bring these guys up here, I guess, to support. Those guys are out. Let's hold over here. I think we're basically just killing that last general now. But it is a Nazgul. I think we can bring our guy back. Let's let them take care of it if they want to. Where is he at? Where's the- there he is, the Nazgul! The Nazgul. And we did this in the aid of our friend. They're probably gonna really like that. Let's just hold him here, I suppose. Actually, back up. Back up. Y'all are- they're gonna get shot. They are gonna get shot, aren't they? He's trying to run after me. Heck no! Nah. You don't get to fight my units. Yeah, you can fight those guys all you want. Let's actually come up here. To the top. Men have fought long and are becoming tired. <laughs> he is not dying. This is insane. I wonder how much health he has. We'll keep this on so if he does break out, we'll just get a volley on them. Good the there we go. We finally did it. By the victory we I'm sure he killed plenty of people, today. though. Whew, they lost everything in that. But well, we're just going to have to let our allies take care of that. We have to be on the defensive here. We need to get all those guys back so we don't just lose all of our money. We're gonna lose all of our money this turn, but we need to make sure that we can focus on that other army that we have. And we may not even send it to Rune. We could send it to Dol Guldur through the Anduin Vale. It would just feel really weird having separate uh, areas out there. But we don't have any like bitterness towards Rune right now. They just have a very strong front. So we can't leave it like completely open. Yep, we will send you guys back. Yeah, we're losing a lot of money this turn. We put on very high tax rate. Let's try to mitigate some of those losses, hopefully. No more is going to get built here. Your will, my lord. Let's roll through the turn, baby. Maybe if we get some more trade rights going. Plus, it would be nice if we didn't ruin our trade rights with uh, the Easterlings of Run. However, is that all their settlements down there, too? That's a pretty scary faction. Yes, Thranduil, go take out some other guys for me, please. What I may do is keep like a, uh, maybe I'll keep that militia out to the south. Oh, well, we're just, I think we're gonna have to fight another. Let's, now let's come back to our city. We don't have to pay for this. We can play the defensive now. We killed a really high priority target. The steward of Gondor is dead. The Hornberg is lost. Northern Dunedain, we were gonna do that. Oh my gosh. Your okay, the realm of men. Is not going to be. Him, dear, give me some money. Yeah. This scene An honor there. and Thank a you. pleasure. Farewell. Alliance. Got it. And who do we go to now? How's our money looking? Yes, my lord. As you wish. Um. My That's lord. goblins, so let's without cut out question. this way. I yes. think Breeze out without around question. here somewhere. As you wish. 
We'll take this as our last turn, but let's go ahead and figure out what we're going to do with this split up. My lord. Let's send Your you will, two my guys. Lord. My lord. Here. As you wish. And you two guys there as well. Your will, my lord. Y'all in here. Oh, that's right. Orders. Your will, my lord. Hmm. My lord. Let's send the rest yes. of them all in here. Orders. And then my we lord. can sort this out later. We are making money again, at least. <clears throat> so let's actually invest this. We'll use this time to invest um, into something. Yeah, this trader, probably. Oh yeah, we'll keep it like that. We'll take a little pause break here. So if you if you like the video, I want to thank you. First of all, I want to thank you guys so much for watching. If you like the video, please feel free to leave a like, comment, subscribe. You know, I'll take whatever I can get, baby. And I'll see you guys after I move this guy and this guy. Bye.